All right, this is going to be part 39, and um, we're going to go th through the entire thread that we've built. And I think we need to do this because it's going to um, beat the dead horse. We're just going to, we are going to take the jackhammer and hammer this one category through. So you can see the allegory, you can see the artists, you can see the dates, you can see how it all fits together. And that's what this video is about. And we're going to begin with Scatman. Scatman, I'll, well, I'll play the, well, let me, let me explain a little bit. Scatman's in the movie The Shining. And he writes a, a song for Stanley Kubrick. So this is an interview where he talks about the song. And this is crucial to the allegory in this puzzle. You wrote a little bit of a song about Stanley oh, Kubrick. Oh, yes, yes. One day, one day I walked on the set and I says to Stanley, I said, Stanley says, uh, would you mind if I wrote a tune about you? And he is somewhat a little shy. He says, no, Scott, I'd be delighted. I says, thank you because I've already written it. <laughs> and he got the last, he says, yeah, I'm going to show you how concerned he is. He says, uh, what's the title of the tune that you written for me? I said, well, the title of the tune is Stanley, and in parentheses, does it all. He says, uh, I hear a few bars of it. I said, sure. So I took him over to this table where Jack was doing all this typing. So I said, now here's where it goes. I said, I'll you a few bars of it. There's a man, living in London town. Makes movies. He's world renowned. Yes, he's really got the fame. Stanley Kubrick is his name. He does it all. He does it all. I'm telling y'all. Stanley does it all. He's a writer. He directs. He produces his projects. He's the man behind the lens, and Stanley always wins. He's a man who looks ahead, can make you think he raised the dead. Edison cuts off. He's a writer, he directs. He produces his projects. He's the man behind the lens, and Stanley always wins. He's a man who looks ahead, can make you think he raised the dead. Stanley always wins. He's a man who looks ahead, can make you think he raised the dead. The man who looks ahead can make you think he raised the dead. Edison cuts all his tricks. He's a genius with his tricks. He does it all. He does it all. And he slipped. No, I didn't slip. <laughs> and his daughter, his daughter Vivian, she was doing the documentary film. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, behind, behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. Yeah. So she said, now, Scott, man, when you finish your movie, so now when I interview you, you will have to do the tune that you have written for my father. So, <laughs> you know, there's there's a little uh, breadcrumbs in that. That's interesting. You know, he can make you think he raised the dead. So, huh, isn't that interesting? So, let's go into the dates. I list these uh, date puzzles under all the um, videos. I don't know how many people are reading them because they're not easy to read, I'm sure. But um, so let's go through the Kennedy thread and we're going to we're going to go into uh, Scatman Carruthers. Scatman Carruthers, he is in the Cuckoo's Nest movie. He plays Turkle. So it's the same name as Joe Turkle. So if he's using Turkle as a first name and Joe Turkle uses it as a last name, Joe Turkle has two first names. Uh, that's a sidetrack. But anyway, let's go through the Kennedy thread. So let's look at some images first here. So we have Scatman Crothers with the smoking gun and the snow cap on. And um, the movie is released on his birthday. It's made a big deal of in The Shining. Oh, it's, the movie's being released on Scatman's birthday. So here he is on the set. This is another Ouija photo. And he's got the smoking gun. The, the the puzzle has guns in it. I've made less. So, movies release his date. He dies November 22nd, Kennedy's death, death date. Here's uh, a Kubrick ping pong clue. This is what we're, we're playing ping pong with these dates. You know, we have um, John F. Kennedy dies November, November 22nd, 1963. So, this is a pong. He's dead. Aldous Huxley dies November 22nd, 1963. Pong. He's dead. 
The release date of Dr. Strangelove, which would be its birthday, is November 22nd, 1963. So we have our first ping. Um, so these are all the same exact day, date and year, okay? Now we go, we, we, we have two prongs and a ping. Let's look at the rest of the puzzle. So we have Jimmy Lee Curtis. She's born November 22nd, 1958. Um, Black Jack the Horse is commissioned November 22nd, 1953. Scatman Crothers dies on November, November 22nd, 1986. So the even more bizarre thing with all this is um, we have zero years with Dr. Strangelove. We have the five years prior with Jamie Lee Curtis. We have 10 years prior with Black Jack the Horse. We have 21 year anniversary. It's the day Scatman dies is the 21st anniversary of Kennedy's death. That is uncanny. We have Jack Kennedy and we have Scatman Crothers, the Ace of Spades. So we've got the Jack of Spades and the Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades is the death card. So Scatman Crothers, the Ace of Spades, dies November 22nd, 1986, and it's the 21st anniversary of Kennedy's death, Blackjack. You know, <sighs> I don't know if you think this is random. I, I I give you credit, but so he's the Ace of Spades. That's twenty one. Uh, you know we have the name of his horse that dies. Uh, that's commissioned five years prior to his death is uh, Blackjack. You know, so we got a lot. That's uncanny. We're so really we're at this point in the first page. We've gone, you know, one page, and we're like, oh, my God, this is bizarre. The 24, he dies on the 24th anniversary. The movie's released his birthday. He dies on the 24th anniversary. The, the Black Jack the Horse. We have Ace of Spades, Jack of Spades, John Kennedy is 21. So now let's, let's go from bizarre to just run believably uncanny. Rodney Dangerfield um, is in the movie The Killing, and oddly, he doesn't, take any credit for it he's not listed in the credits but he's clearly in the movie you can see him and so he's he's born november 22nd as well but 1921 this is 42 years prior to kennedy's death day so we have the the zero three of three zero years boom 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 these are the same day date and year then we have a five year prior a 10 year prior a 21st anniversary of, 21 years after, and a 42 year, two year prior to Kennedy's death day. All of these people are indicated in Kubrick's puzzle. And another um, little tidbit I found out, the first movie ever filmed with Garrett Brown's Steadicam was Halloween, starring Jamie Lee Curtis. This is her first movie. It's always based on first, this language. So it's her first movie. She's Queen of Screams. Her mom is in Psycho. So she's the five-year, 10-year, zero-year, 21st anniversary, and 42 years prior. So that is just bizarre. So let's. So there's one Kennedy. We've only done JFK. Okay, this is JFK. Oh, let me show you this, too, before I, before I start. So JFK, when he died, he took the riderless horse. Okay, when RFK died, he took the funeral train. When JFK Jr. died, he took the plane. When Ted Kennedy died, or Ted Kennedy had a car accident. He didn't die in the car accident. But we're, we're going to get into Ted Kennedy in the end of this, and you'll see why I listed him. So Ted Kennedy had his uh, Chappaquiddick, you know, he drove up the bridge in the car and he survived. But he was, he was pretty badly hurt. So we have the horse, the train, the plane, and the car. So you've already got, we've already gone through the, this is the JFK thread, the number 22nd thread. And, and the odd of 0, 5, 10, 21, 30 is not in this thread, it's in the next one, and 42. So JFK, these are the anniversary dates of the people that are given to us. So that's uncanny. Then we go into JFK Jr. And now, you know, so now we're stepping up on the uncanny. We're on, a, we're on like a 9 on the uncanny. Now we're at 11 on uncanny. So JFK Jr. John John, he dies July 16th, 19, 1999. So that's a pong right there. Bing pong. We have the release date, the birthday of Eyes Wide Shut, 
turns out, is the exact same day, date, and year. Just like Dad. You know, Dad, uh, uh, Dr. Strangelove comes out, and Dad dies. So now Eyes Wide Shut comes out, and John John dies, same day, date, and year. And uh, now to really quadruply compound the uncanniness of this, is this is the 30th anniversary of the Apollo 11 launch. So that's just, so you've got Kubrick, the man that directs the, the Apollo missions. It's the 30th anniversary, and it's the day, date, and year John John dies in this plane. Um, so now, so we're really, I mean, we're at, a, so we're at nine before, we're at 10.8 right now on the uncanny scale. Let's go up a little further. Alex Colville is the man that does all the paintings in Kubrick's movie, and I, I'm going to show you a few of those just so you know who Alex Colville is. Alex Colville does this painting, which is in the movie The Shining, and uh, this is seen when Wendy's walking down the hallway or something. But anyway, it's called Horse and Train. And uh, so this would be Bobby takes the train and JFK, Jack takes the horse. And we know this because Alex Colville painted this painting named Horse and Church. So this picture, he tells us, this horse represents Black Jack, Kennedy's riderless horse. And this gravestone back here represents Kennedy's grave. And the horse is going to rage out of the gate. He's, he's finally free. So this is the same horse that we see in the covered wagon funeral. We have a flag covered wagon in the funeral. So let's move this out of the way for a minute. And put that in the Colville area over here. Let's go to, here's the flag covered wagon. Here's Blackjack the horse. All right. We have, there's the, the covered wagon. There's Blackjack. It's got a little dot, white dot there. So this is Blackjack in this painting right here. This represents, this is, the artist tells us this, that this is Blackjack, Kennedy's rider this horse. And he tells us that this is Kennedy's um, gravestone, his headstone. And of course, another um, fire theme, which I have not mentioned up until now, um, was Kennedy, you know, you have Kennedy's um, eternal flame in Washington and his, and his gravestone. So we're playing ping pong. So we got Alex Colville. We got a direct reference to JFK uh, and his death. And we have another picture of a horse and a train. Bobby takes the, the train. And uh, so now let's go back to the dates again. So it turns out Alex Colville dies July 16th, 2013. Now, understand that um, Kubrick died March 7th, 1999. So... This prediction, somehow, you know, once again, we have the magic time machine or the, uh, the almanac from, from the future. Kubrick includes four paintings in the movie The Shining from this man, and which stunned his own family when, this, when they noticed this. And so Colville dies July 16th, the date of the Apollo 11 launch, the date of uh, the Trinity explosion. The date of Orville Redenbacher's birthday. This is the sticker that's seen on uh, Cowboy's helmet. Uh, this is the day Congress establishes the District of Columbia, which is Columbia is in our is in our puzzle because we have the um, the Apollo Eleven CSM is named Columbia. We have the Columbia ship is the first U.S. ship to circumnavigate the the, the globe. Uh, we have Columbia University, where Kubrick does his Look Magazine, Columbia University um, pictorial. So universities are part of our clue set. We have Lou Gehrig attends UCLA. We have Woody Strode and uh, Jackie Robinson um, attend UC, uh, UCLA. I'm sorry, Lou Gehrig attends Columbia and uh, Jackie Robinson and um, Woody Strode attend UCLA. They're the long jumper and the high jumper. Um, we have Columbia Pictures. Kubrick makes movies with Columbia Pictures. So Columbia is a thread, and uh, it repeats itself. So we know we're looking for the District of Columbia until I-16 is when it was established. This is the first detonation of the first atomic bomb. This is Bobby Oppenheimer. He's already in our puzzle. Uh, Jack Nicholson is born the same day as him. I've, I've put the date puzzles for these two men. It's the October, um, no, it's the uh, April 22nd date. So it's, it's, uh, it turns out it's the date the World Fair opens. It's Earth Day. So 
we go from Oppenheimer to July 16th. This is the cruiser Indianapolis. This is a ghost ship category. July 16th, 1945, the cruiser Indianapolis leaves San Francisco with the bomb for uh, Japan. This is the ship that uh, gets uh, hit with a torpedo or something, and it sinks, and all the men get eaten by sharks. And this is uh, in Peter Benchley's movie, and, of course, uh, Bobby, Sh Bobby Shaw talks about it. <clears throat> um, this is uh, July 16th. Was the Look magazine Kubrick's last Ringling Brothers in Barnum Bailey Circus? So he tells us it's like riding War and Peace in a bumper car in an amusement park. So it fits in with his comments. This is his old Icarus speech. Uh, John Glenn sets the uh, transcontinental speed record. So there's the uh, this is the JFK Jr. thread, starting right uh, right here, John F. Kennedy Jr. So he, he dies on the 30th anniversary of the Apollo 11 launch. He dies on Alex, you know, this Alex Colville dies on the same day. Orville Redenbacher, who's on the sticker on his helmet. We have uh, Catcher in the Rye. I didn't even put that in here. I'm getting sloppy now. Catcher in the Rye. It's July 16th. This published. This is the book that Wendy reads in, uh, in The Shining. So that's uh, JFK Jr. That's uncanny. We have all these clues to JFK Jr. And not, I mean, the last one, this is, the, this is Kubrick's, like I said before, this puzzle works on first and last. This movie is Kubrick's last movie. So, you know, and uh, Warner Brothers was really pissed that he would not change the release date. He refused. This was negotiated like two or three years before the movie was made. And it's a ping. So... Let's go from here to um, Teddy, or Robert, I'm sorry. So then we have June 6th, Robert Kennedy dies. June 6th, Pong, so he's dead. Um, he was having dinner with Roman Polanski the night he died. He was killed by a stable boy with two identical first names, Sirhan, Sirhan. So in Lolita, we have Humbert, Humbert. And uh, I've made lists of people with identical first names. And also I've made lists of people with two first names and three first names. And it's another, once again, it's a very veiled clue set. Um, so Sirhan Sirhan shoots Bobby Kennedy nine times with a gun that only held six bullets. So this is a, no, we have, we don't have a magic bullet. We've got three magic bullets in this, in this one here. And of course he's a stable boy. So we had the stable boy, the cowboy, the horses, the bulls, the, the spur crater on Apollo 15, the um, stirrup, or no, the, uh, what the hell was it? Um, it wasn't a stirrup crater, it was um, saddle rock in Apollo 15. So we have saddle rock, horses, bulls, bull riders, rodeo cowboys, matadors, uh, blackjack the horse, red doom the horse, red lightning the horse. Um, so we have this recurring theme. So Stable Boy fits right in here. He's got two identical first names. He shoots more shots than are, he's capable of with magic bullets. June 6th um, is the date that Kubrick's The Killing was released. So this is a birthday. This should be ping. Yeah, now we got a ping here. June 6th turns out is Robert Falcon Scott's birthday. So we have the Discovery ship in 2001, A Space Odyssey. We have the discovery ship that Sir Arthur C. Clarke, which would be King Arthur, is Kubrick's joke. King Arthur, he visits Robert Falcon Scott's ship in port when he writes, the bo uh, writes his um, book that the movie is based on, 2001 Space Odyssey. So this is a pin, another ping. It ties right into, he's the last man to the South Pole. That's bizarre. Then we have the triple, quadruple, quintuple, uh, coincidence of David Randolph Scott. Okay, this man is already in a puzzle. We had Randolph Scott is the actor that's in Carson City. This is the movie that's playing on Wendy's TV set when she gets the phone call from Jack that he got the job. Well, Randolph Scott is the star of that movie. The, the director of that movie is Andre de Toth. He's a one-eyed Jack. So this guy is already in our puzzle. Or should I, Randolph Scott's already in our puzzle. Now we're adding one more name on it. So we have David Randolph Scott. So now he has three first names, David Randolph Scott. And he's born the same day that uh, 
let's go back up. Bobby Kennedy dies his last day. So we have a ping here. Then we have Carl Jung is born July, uh, June 6th, the same day as Robert Falcon Scott, the day um, RF Kennedy dies, the release date of Kubrick's The Killing. So we have, an, once I said, he's using these release dates. He's not just using, you know, one movie. He's trying, I think he's used all of them. I would bet money he's used all of them. So we got Robert Falcon Scott. This is the South Pole. This is Polar Explorer. He dies on his return trip, so he's the last man. He, he was in a duel. Once again, we have dueling themes. He was in a duel with uh, Raoul Amundsen, the, man, the first man to the South Pole and the first man to the North Pole. I've mentioned him before. He's born, oh God, I forgot that one. He's born July 16th. <laughs> so let me put that in here. I, I, uh, AL. So the, the first man to the South Pole is born July 16th. I missed that. So this is, we're back up. I'm sorry, I missed this one. And so it's John F. Kennedy Jr. He's born the same day Raoul Amundsen is as well. So this is the first man to the South Pole. Then we go back down to, when we go to Bobby, we have this, the last man to the South Pole. We have uh, Robert Falcon Scott. So we have first and last South Polar Explorers. Coincidentally, just fit right into the Kennedy killings. Um, so this is a Pong. Or a ping, I'm sorry. This is wrong. It's a ping. It's his birthday. Then we have um, Randolph Scott. This is Apollo 15. This is the mission. You know, hang on, let me play it for you. This is the mission that launches on Stanley Kubrick's birthday, his 42nd birthday. This is the day Diane Arbus dies. This is the Spur Crater and all the alchemical craters, the North Twin and the South Twin Crater. Um, so that's uncanny. You know, we have, this is the, the, he's the guy that does the falcon feather hammer drop, uh, that proves gravity. And he mentions Galileo, which is odd because he should be mentioning Newton and uh, Galileo invents the telescope. So it's Stanley's 42nd. So, I mean, what are the uncanny scale? It's Stanley's 42nd birthday. <sighs> you know, anyway. So this is Apollo 15, launches on Stanley's 42nd birthday. And then we have the quadruple quintuple oddity of this launch date is Jung's birthday, Huxley's birthday, Leon Vitale's birthday, George Bernard Shaw's birthday, Mick Jagger's birthday, Diane Arbus dies in a tub that day. This exact day, the day Diane Arbus dies in a tub, is the exact day Apollo 15 launches, which is... David Randolph Scott's birthday. So that's uncanny. That's, I don't know how uncanny you can get. So then June 6th is Carl, Carl Jung's death day. So we have Pong now. We're pinging and ponging. So we had the ping here. We only get the Pong. Bing, Pong. And uh, so this is Carl Jung. This is um, the shadow and the light and um, the Jungian archetypes. And... Um, you know, he's in this puzzle, 20 different... I mean, he, Peter Sellers is impersonating him in Lolita. So, and we have the four crazy psychologists he mentions. Well, clearly one of them is Carl Jung. So, I mean, what is the un, 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 uncanny meter now? Remember, this is the first Kennedy we've, we've... This is the third Kennedy we've gone over that's in this puzzle. So then you have Vincent Bugliosi. This is uh, who I believe he's referring to when he says, gives you bugs, bunny. Vincent Bugliosi is um, oddly tied into the Kubrick family. He uh, pro um, prosecutes one of Kubrick's uh, relatives in California. He was a policeman who apparently murdered his wife. So he's related to the Purblers. So Bugliosi is related to this whole Kubrick puzzle even before he gets into the Kennedy mess. So Vinny's, you know, I watched a, um, a video with... Um, Jesse Ventura, and he started questioning Vincent Bugliosi. And Bugliosi folded like a cheap suit and wanted the cameras turned, over, turned off. So Bugliosi knows what's going on. He's out in California. He's, in, he's involved in the Kubrick, Kubrick's um, uncle, who owned like a, he was a cop. So I got to do a little more investigation. This is a very interesting thread here. Um, so now we've done 
Robert Kennedy, we've done John John, we've done Jack Kennedy. Let's go from there to Teddy Kennedy. So now our absurdity meter is pegged. It can't go any further, but it has to go. You have to put another number on it. We're going to go beyond 11. Um, Teddy Kennedy, so we have the teddy bears that are in the, in the movies. And um, he dies August 25th. August 25th is the 237th day of the year. So that's weird. And uh, so this is a Pong. He's dying this day. This is his last day, 270. So then we go from there. We get to Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong dies on August 25th, the same day. You're like, that is just bizarre. Because that's, a, you know, it's, once again, it's the 237th day of the year. Now, let me stop right there uh, because this is, you should know already, but I'm going to explain it anyway. Neil is born on the 217th day of the year. So you have room 217 is in Stephen King's book. And room 237 is in the movie. And Kubrick lies and he tells you he had to change the movie to 237 because he didn't want anybody uh, in the hotel to think the room was haunted, which is a crock. It's a lie. Jay Widener went out to the, the uh, Timberline. There is no room 237. So it's, he lied, but we know why he lied now, because this is Neil Armstrong. He's born the 217th day of the year. He dies the 237th day of the year. So, which is, again, we're, Ted, we're doing the Kennedys now. So Ted Kennedy is born the same day, dies the same day. And we have um, Frederick Nietzsche. So this is Thus Break Zarathustra, and uh, the music that's in 2001, and Nietzsche, Frederick Nietzsche. So he dies on the same day as Neil Armstrong, the same day as Teddy Kennedy. So you go, die, die, die. These are all pong, pong, pong. Now we start, we're starting to, we've exhausted, you know, this, this puzzle will, when you find the correct threads, it will run you right into the next leaping off point. So we have Azizi Joe Harry, Joe Harry. I'm sorry, we have Gloria Hendry, and she's a Bond girl. So we have the Bond threads. And then we find out that Sean Connery, who's a Scotsman, by the way, is born August 25th. So that's really uncanny. Again, we have the next link in the, plan, in the chain. Of course, we have Broccoli, and I'm going to have to do some of these Sean Connery movies because they're all loaded with stuff. And then we have Tom Skerritt. So Tom Skerritt, we already had because we had Neil A and Alien or palindromes. And also we have, um, um, he plays Dallas, you know. So the, what was changed in Dr. Strangelove? Dallas was changed to Vegas. So we have Anne Margaret, Queen of Vegas. So now we have Tom Skerritt fits in our puzzle. He's the Scotsman, redheaded Scotsman, Scotsman, uh, who's already in our in our puzzle, Ridley Scott. And uh, we have Ash, which fits in the fire. Ash, you know, the Overlook Burns Down, the Collins Axe, the fire truck. Then we have Sigourney Weaver. You know, we have Quilty Weaver. She's a redhead. It's her first movie. It's always their first movie. Jamie Lee Curtis, her first, first movie is Halloween. Halloween is the first usage of Garrett Brown's Steadicam. Halloween is the first day at the, at the Overlook. It's a holiday clue. Um, she's the first female ship captain, captain in a space movie. So we have a double first here. So Tom Skerritt is in her puzzle. He's also in Fire... Um, not Firestarter. He's also in Dead Zone. Uh, so that's another alchemical movie about ESP and clairvoyance. August 25th is Tim Burton's birthday. So this, this is when Mars attacks. And I, I'm not very familiar with Tim Burton's movies. But I know he has uh, Beetlejuice, which is a, a dwarf red star. You know, so that fits our puzzle. So I'm going to have to do more Tim Burton um, research. But uh, so then we, we go into the freaky zone. Frank Lloyd, wait, remember I said weddings are in this puzzle. So Frank Lloyd Wright gets married August 25th, the 237th day of the year. And I can't connect Billie Holiday yet, but I believe she's in the puzzle just because her name and she's, she was a great and um, jazz and everything is in her puzzle. 
Bella Lugosi, I can't connect him to the puzzle yet, but I know he's, I, I have a good suspicion he's in it. So these two um, are suspected. Uh, Patrick Stewart gets married on this date. So marriage dates are part of the puzzle. So that's it for the text of this. So now let's go to the back to the pictures to, to hammer this home. So here's the horse and train, Alex Colville. So he's JFK Jr. Here's the ping pong. You know, this is Malcolm McDowell playing ping pong. He played ping pong with his uh, co-stars often. All right, we got the Alex Colville. Now let's go into a different category for Alex Colville. Alex Colville also designed coins for Canada. And we see the, the rabbit, so that fits. I think this is a wolf, but somebody from Canada is going to have to let me know. I was looking around. I couldn't find out what exact animal it was. This may be a bobcat or a lynx. It looks like a lynx, but i got to find that out. This is a goose. So we had the duck. Now we have the goose. This is some type of uh, fish. It looks like a trout. i got to find out. And this looks like some kind of bird. I don't know what it is. So he designed coins. And you're like, oh, they've got animals and birds and rabbits. Oh, isn't that neat? Well, there's something more interesting about these coins than the birds that are on them. And stuff. The other side of the coin always has Queen Elizabeth on it, no matter what coin you get. And uh, she's in her puzzle. She's a red-headed queen. And um, her coronation was in Look Magazine. And uh, so that's interesting that we have Alex Colville, and it's wrapping right around into our Queen Elizabeth and her coronate coronation. And these coins didn't look like this. Somebody's colored this as plated or something. I don't know what they did. And uh, so then we have Blackjack, you know that, the covered wagon, the funeral. This is where we see the salute from the sun. It's just, you know, John John does the salute. The smoking gun. Scatman was already a cuckoo bird before he even was in The Shining. So he plays Turkle. We got Joe Turkle. Here's another smoking. These, the rest of this video is going to be um, just stuff I found uh, in looking around through the world of the puzzle. And we notice here Kubrick's smoking. He's got a cigarette in his hand. And the reason he has a cigarette is because she's wearing her corona, her crown. She's in the this, in this, in this school play. Let's do this. So there's Scatman in uh, Cuckoo's Nest. Here's Scatman in his mirrored room. These are the play, Playboy bunnies. So, you know, he's being linked into this puzzle. These are the hairballs, the, uh, the white rabbits, and the black rabbits. These are actually um, Playboy black rabbits. I keep saying white rabbits. They're not white rabbits. These are Playboy black rabbits. Remember, colors is part of our puzzle, so black and white are used. This is uh, another thing I discovered or noticed. I don't know how I didn't know. She's not wearing lingerie or panties. She's wearing a bathing suit which is bizarre because they're in some kind of un underground bunker. So this is a bikini. So we, we had Operation Fishbowl. We had Danny saying, ah, oh, you done, or Jack saying, you done blowing up the universe, Danny? Oh, yeah, Dad. So this is another clue to be, maybe the bikini atoll. We also see the bikini.